it or not, it is only four days until summer. And it's often a time in the summer when your kids try to unplug, but there are ways to keep them engaged and Seattle Public Libraries can help. And Seattle Public Library has had these summer learning programs for the last 100 years. And joining us this morning to talk more about what your kids can do this summer in connection with Seattle Public Library is Amy Twido, the Informal Learning Program Manager. That's your official title. title. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, so you've got reading programs every summer at SPL. So tell us about how this works. Yeah, well, this is our 100th year that we have been doing this and the whole goal is to keep kids reading and learning over the summer mm -hmm. and so in order to support that we've got programs for early learners we want to work with parents to help them get their young learners ready for kindergarten in the fall and then there's also other things for for uh, even younger kids and um, they can read together and win a small prize at the library that's great. You can also bring any of these to the Burke Museum um, when they open up again in November and you get a free uh, pass for a parent and a kid together just by participating in the Summer of Learning program. That's great. What about for older uh Kids. For older kids, we've mm -hmm. got this awesome 24-page activity booklet. It's kind of like a highlights magazine, and it is just filled with, with all kinds of puzzles and games and articles written by local kids who are making a difference. That's so fantastic. lots of fun things in there. And there's also a reading activity in here where kids, we want them to read just a little bit every day for at least 30 days over the summer. When you Every, say a little bit, what are you talking about, 15, 20 minutes? Well, we, let, we want them to choose their goal. We won't, don't want it to be like school. So they can choose their goal. It can be pages read or minutes read or whatever. And then every 10 days that they have read, for every day, they come into the library and they get a small prize like a little hand magnifier or a bug box or a packet of seeds that they can plant. That's great. Uh, you mentioned this has been over a hundred years. I think we actually have a picture of uh, this happening back in 1910. Uh, so this year's theme, Explore Your World. Over the years, how has this changed? How, how has the program evolved? Well, it's kind of funny. If we, I don't know if we have that graphic up, but it shows that we have been doing outreach and community engagement in our community for over 100 years. That picture, I think, is from 1910. Mm -hmm. So for over 100 years, librarians have been going out into the community, finding kids where they are, and bringing books to them and stories and learning programs. So we're just continuing that on from 100 years, hopefully for the next 100 years. Yes, yeah, so reading as important now as it was then, n nothing's changed, it's Absolutely. just so critical. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, thank you, Amy, appreciate it. The Children's Summer Action Guide can be picked up at any library location beginning on June 24th, and it's filled with all of these activities that your kids can enjoy, whether or not they're going into kindergarten this year or maybe even a, a teenager, continuing to read is important. It's thank always you. important. Thanks for coming in. Thanks thank you. Appreciate it.